According to reports, the footage of Amanda Holden appearing to make fun of Holly Willoughby has been taken out of context. The 52-year-old Heart FM host came under fire on Tuesday after it looked that she was mocking Ms. Willoughby's comeback speech by imitating it in an Instagram video. Vans were led to assume by the video that the two IDV stars did not get along, but yesterday the Britain's Got Talent judge stated that she had no issues with Holly. The Daily Mail was informed by a source that Amanda has long hated Philip. He barred her from filling in for Holly as she hosted I'm a Celeb in 2018. Fans of Spring Watch also believed that Michaela Strachan, 57, was making fun of Ms. Willoughby when she added, right, deep breath. First of all, how are you doing? So, I hope. After a fox took a chick, she said to co-host Chris Packham, there's a lot to process and a turquoise quote from Ms. Willoughby's speech. After Ms. Willoughby returned to the ITV couch to discuss Philip Schofield's departure, both Ms. Holden and Ms. Strachan appeared to send up the presenter by stating, right, deep breath. First of all, how are you doing? So, I hope. Hello, it's Tuesday, Ms. Holden greeted her 2 million Instagram followers while wearing a white luxury dress. Are you all right? Even Ms. Willoughby's rice dress that she wore for her TV comeback was similar to the 350 pounds white crepe jumpsuit she was wearing from the brand Me Plus M. Vance believed Ms. Holden and her fellow IDV star were at war as a result of the video. Later on during her Heart FM radio program, Ms. Holden, 52, laughed and said, I'm okay people, are you okay? As she and co-host Jamie Theakston joked about a guest, Mr. Theakston, 52, asked her how she was doing the day before the concert when they were discussing performing it while hungover. When she returned home, she immediately climbed into bed with her dog and cat. At 8, I got out of bed, made the tea, and went back to bed. I did the thing where you have to convince yourself to go back to sleep after waking up at 2. While speaking to another visitor, Mr. Theakston interrupted. We're worried about your well-being. I'm okay, people, are you okay? Ms. Holden said before laughing out. Amanda has always made it plain in the past that she has no concerns with Holly, according to a spokeswoman for Ms. Holden who spoke to Mail and Line. The footage we saw today was taken out of context. Ms. Holden wasn't the only person to reprim and Holly, either. Fans of Spring Watch believed that 57-year-old host Ms. Strachan was making fun of her on Tuesday's live broadcast. When Ms. Strachan said something similar after watching a footage of a fox snatching a blackbird baby from a nest, she was imitating Ms. Willoughby's speech. Everyone was on the edge of their seats while watching that, Ms. Strachan recalled, standing next to co-host Mr. Packham, 62, and asking, how are people feeling? There is certainly a lot to consider. There is no control over emotions. Fans discovered the resemblance to Ms. Willoughby's statements and tweeted their amazement. The highlight of the day, according to their post, was Michaela Strachan mocking Holly Willoughby on hash Spring Watch. At the rate BBC Spring Watch hash Michaela utilizing the how you feeling, a lot to absorb analogy far better and much more relatable than Fox catches a blackbird this morning. Fox and Blackbird. Circle of Life. Michaela said, how's everyone feeling? Did she just pull a Holly Willoughby? There is a lot to take in. Hash spring watch. Perhaps a little jab at Holly W. It was a lot to comprehend. How are you feeling now? Hash spring watch. Additionally, one MP today made light of Ms. Willoughby's on-air declaration upon her return to this morning by posing the question, are you okay? To a senior IDV representative before a common select committee. Magnus Brook, ITV's head of strategy, policy, and regulation, was questioned by Scottish National Party MP John Nicholson throughout the hearing over the atmosphere at this morning. The MP also called this morning editor Martin Frizzle's response to queries about bullying, in which he mentioned aubergines, surreal and bizarre. Mr. Brook called the remarks ill-judged and would not say if the editor's position was secure. The head of the Culture, Media, and Sport Committee, Caroline Dineenage, stated earlier in the meeting that today's topic will be the draft media bill, not this morning. She said they would postpone talking about Mr. 
Schofield quitting the program until Dame Carol in McCall, the CEO of ITV, appears before MPs on June 14. In the original statement, Ms. Willoughby added that it feels very strange indeed sitting here without Phil and I imagine that you might have been feeling a lot like I have shook, troubled, let down, concerned for the well-being of people on all sides of what's been happening, and full of questions. All of us at this morning gave our love and support to someone who wasn't telling the truth and acted in such a way that they felt they had to leave IDV and their beloved careers. There's a lot there to take in. It's equally difficult to witness the toll it's had on their own mental health, she continued. I believe that our shared goal to heal for the sake of everyone's health and welfare is what connects us all today. I'm hoping we can draw strength from one another as we embark on this new chapter and return to the cozy and magical world that the show provides for all of us. I also want to express my sincere gratitude for all of your nice words and for coming this morning. I will continue to put in a lot of effort every day, as will Josie, Dermot, Allison, Craig, and everyone else who works on the program. Following Mr. Schofield's admission that he didn't notify anybody about his relationship with a former This Morning co-worker, Amal Rajan of the BBC confirmed that Willoughby did not know in a tele-interview. Ms. Willoughby's comeback coincides with charges of toxicity against the IDV program, including those made by former This Morning host Eamon Holmes, who said there was a total cover-up about the Schofield issue. When Ms. Willoughby presented I'm a Celeb in 2018, Ms. Holden earlier stated that she thought Mr. Schofield ruined her chances of stepping in on This Morning. I'm a Celebrity's Aunt McPartland was replaced as host by Rochelle Humes, who previously served as Mr. Schofield's regular co-anchor. Get me out of this place. Ms. Holden was questioned by her Heart Radio co-star Mr. Theakston in a video that just surfaced regarding her conflict with Mr. Schofield. Ms. Holden rebuked him, saying, I've moved on from it. Jamie, you need to move on from it. When he attempted to broach the matter. He said, you might have moved on, but I just wanted to know, is there any more to the story? Before pressing, Ms. Holden informed Mr. Theakston that she had attempted to contact Mr. Schofield but that her efforts to set up a meeting to resolve the issue had been disregarded. I did offer to meet him for coffee months ago, but he didn't react to my text, she added. How shall I begin, Mr. Theakston inquired as to whether the olive branch had been offered. Mr. Theakston asked Ms. Holden whether she and Mr. Schofield would have a burger and fries moment in reference to Taylor Swift and Katy Perry patching up their friendship after a public falling out by dressing as burger and fries in hair music video you need to calm down. I doubt it, remarked Ms. Holden. Jamie, I'm a vegetarian. When she learned Rochelle had been chosen for the role instead of her, Ms. Holden allegedly told the son that she felt let down by her friend Mr. Schofield. She had previously stepped in for Ms. Willoughby when the This Morning host took a year off the program in October 2014 to give birth to her third child, Chester, who is now seven. An ex-daytime TV executive previously said to the son that Philip aggressively pushed for Rochelle to be hired despite Amanda having more experience and being discreetly informed that she had won the position. Later, an IDV representative emphasized that Rochelle's hiring was a producer choice, telling Mail in Line that producers, not presenters, make the ultimate decisions about presenter lineups on this morning. Philip Schofield is a much-loved broadcaster and a member of the IDV family, they declared at the time. He is well-regarded at IDV and is a consummate professional. On one of our largest programs, Amanda is a judge who is well-respected. Working with Ms. Holden while co-hosting the morning program, Mr. Schofield said, was occasionally quite scary. At the time, he admitted to Heat magazine that Amanda kept me on my toes. She has a broken edit button and periodically forgets she's on television, which is really cute and amusing but also pretty frightful. Ms. Holden looked to be celebrating Mr. Schofield's departure from this morning by posting a strong man emoji on Instagram. She left the post's message unclear by without adding a caption.